The Nicolas Cage movie, Knowing, came out March 20, 2009. I wasn't aware of it, but the movie contained a flip clock, which we'll call the Knowing Flip Clock. In the movie, John Kessler, Nicolas Cage, looks over at his desk, sees the clock at 11.59, then a close-up as it flips to 12, and another one as it flips from 3.28 to 3.29. And that's it. The Knowing Flip Clock appeared for four seconds. John Kessler was an MIT professor whose son, Caleb, came across a list of numbers that had been drawn up and placed into a time capsule 50 years earlier by a disturbed young lady named Lucinda Embry, who was being influenced by what they called the Whisper People. John Kessler found out these numbers detailed every major disaster with major deaths for the, for the last 50 years. Kessler witnessed two of the last three that was predicted. The ultimate one that was predicted was the end of the world. So John set out, with help of the daughter of the, the troubled child and the granddaughter, to try to stop this. Well, the Whispers were talking to their children as well. It turns out, they were aliens who had a plan to save the human race. I knew it. The knowing flip clock. So we'll look at this in a little more detail. The numbers in the movie have nothing to do with the clock. Now, you'll find a lot of people on the internet trying to make a connection. There's people who even say that this here predicts the nuclear disaster in Japan that happened a couple years after the movie, and that these indicate dates or something like that. I really don't think so. I think the clock is just a clock. And like I said, in the first part, it, it shows the next day is passing. Here I've uh, highlighted the clock so we can actually see it a little better. It's a copal. And it's rare because they usually try to hide the brand of a clock when it's in a movie. This happens to be the Copal Model T7. And it has an alarm function, no radio. It uses a D-cell battery. Kind of got rounded edges. Real nice clock. And here it is in the Flip Clock Fan Studios. And we find a clock that's 7 inches wide, about 5 inches tall, and a little over 3 inches deep. And you can see there... What uh, passes for a whirly gig, very slowly moving there. You can see the name tuning fork. So the clock is of a tuning fork variety, and I have actually never seen the clock before, and I cannot find another one like it on the internet. So that's the alarm. That's how you set it on. So what we're going to do here is how you adjust the alarm. We're going to go ahead and adjust the alarm so we can hear what this sounds like. Now the funny thing is you got to go really slow when you come up on this. And there it is. That ought to wake you up in the morning. So the Copal Model T7 has a couple controls we need to know about. There on the far right is a lever that you actually have to push to get it started. I'm not sure why, but uh, you do. Now the, the turn knob here, that selects the digits. You have to push it up towards the top of the clock. It's, it's spring-loaded. On the back here, we see two screws, and those are the only two you need to take off to disassemble. Under the battery, there's two more screws, and you can see two screws to the left of the battery. That's to the clock mechanism. You don't have to take those out. You want to go ahead and get a view of the clips. Those are actually clips that are going to drop out. and kind of see how they're oriented for when you put the clock back together. Now, when I took the clock apart the first time, before I did some cleaning on it, uh, the top didn't come off as easy as it's going to now. So, if you ever do get to disassemble one of these clocks, just know it does slide up, and you may have to give it a little, little bit of push-up. But now it comes straight up. So, what you're looking at here is actual glass. That's not plastic. So it looks great after all these years. You can see the DC motor. There's the from the battery. That's the line to the battery. Here is the alarm switch. You see when that's pushed in, there down in there, that's the uh, buzzer. That when that's pushed in, that allows the connection for the alarm switch that's over here to uh, make that little device buzz. 
and you've got a clear plastic thing here. You can see sort of a flywheel in there. There's a there's a circuit board inside of there. And it seems to be running just fine. When I purchased it, the person indicated it wasn't working, but I believe they either didn't know how to throw the switch or the contacts just needed to be cleaned for the battery. But in any event, it's working great now. So I'll, I'll show you what you have to do to turn this on. And I'm not sure why they have it configured this way, but you just got to, once you get the battery in, which I'm seeming uh, to have some trouble there. Okay, so now it's not on. As you, see, you might be able to see, there's, there's a flywheel there, and it's not moving at all. What you have to do is you have to throw this switch. Now, it's, it's oriented down towards uh, the bottom of the picture here. I'm going to pull it back towards me and then release it. And, it. and it snaps back to where it was before. And you may be able to tell that the motor is actually running now. So this is kind of strange. And everything looks really clean. I didn't do any cleaning on the inside of this clock. They they were sealed real sealed really well. These clocks. And there's not much else to talk about as far as disassemblies. So you can see the alarm function there. And there's really only one little trick you should probably be aware of if you're when you're reassembling, and it will be a stopper. So you want this down, not up. You want to push it down because. Otherwise, it may catch that uh, piece of metal that has to act as a switch and drops right down. That's really the only thing you need to know about. And like we talked about, you got to get the uh, tabs back in there oriented correctly. But while I'm doing this, uh, again, I when I uh, first heard about the flip clock from a member of flip clock fans, I... Um, I tried to figure out what uh, what clock it was as I was watching the movie. And it just so happened that someone posted this clock right here on eBay the day I was looking into it. I've never seen another one like it, except on Pinterest uh, there is a, a clock that's of a different color of this model. And that's it. So it's fairly rare, evidently. Now, when you're using these... Uh, these automatic drills here, you got to be careful. And I'm, I'm anticipating that you could crack the case, so I just want to do a fine, the last little bit of tightening here. And you do not have to crank these down when you're reassembling this or any flip clock. There is a tendency to get over aggressive. Well, there it is. The Copal Model T7 now will know it as the knowing flip clock. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.